Every workplace is different and presents its own specific set of risks where worker contact with some chemical types may be unavoidable. To determine the most appropriate chemical protective clothing choice, a thorough hazard assessment must be undertaken. 1. Chemical hazards. The specific substances to which workers may be exposed and any interactions in the case of multiple substances. 2. Physical hazards including the likelihood of abrasion, tear or puncture to clothing, along with exposure to fire, cold, heat and humidity. 3. Exposure type. Whether the chemical is in liquid particulate or vapour gaseous form, and whether exposure is brief or extended contact or occasional splash. 4. Exposure time. How long the worker will be in contact with the substance when undertaking a specific task. Five physical effects. Understand the specific potential health effects resulting from exposure. 6. Determine whether the use of protective clothing will introduce new hazards. The EU developed Harmonised Product Standards for Protection, or TYPES, in chemical protective clothing. Gas and vapour hazards require the use of clothing classified as Type 1, whereas liquid and particulate hazards necessitate a solution delineated as type 3, 4, 5 or 6. Each type must meet with the specific relevant standard that outlines minimum performance requirements of the construction fabric, seams and the type of closures used. The well-being of workers is a chief concern for most safety professionals. Seeking input from a knowledgeable source, combined with specialist training, is key. Ansel's Chemical Guardian Service is an online tool that provides access to permeation data on hundreds of common chemicals and can help identify the suitable protective clothing options to deliver the optimal result when it comes to PPE selection. For more information or to subscribe to Safety Briefing, go to www.ansel.com.